Hi everyone. So I have said before that uh, one DOS app that I love is a spreadsheet. Uh, and my favorite spreadsheet is as easy as. So I wanted to show an example of a real world calculation that you can do in a spreadsheet. So the background for this is I was writing an article and in that article, I had a sample program that needed to draw an equilateral triangle uh, in 640 by 480 graphics. So I know that the top of the triangle is at 320 zero, but what are the other two vertices? So you can start with this drawing and you can say, okay, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I know that b is 480, that's the height of the screen. And if it's an equilateral triangle, then at that point, c will be 2a, because a is half the base of any of these uh, sides. And you can actually solve that with algebra. The answer is uh, 480 squared uh, divided by 3, then take the square root. That's about 277. But when I was writing the article, I messed up my algebra. And so I just got a, a, you know, a spreadsheet and I did it there. And of course, I used my favorite spreadsheet uh, as easy as. So let's use as easy as to solve this problem uh, for us. So let's go into uh, as easy. And we'll run the as easy uh, spreadsheet. And so this spreadsheet was made available uh, for free by Trius. And so you can go to their website and download this and they even provide the activation code. So let's start by entering just a reminder about what's going on. So uh, to enter in plain text, uh, you could just enter in text, or if you know it's going to be text, you can also use the single quote. And so that'll be uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I'm going to go over here and say, okay, we know that B is going to be uh, 480. And then what is, um, what, what's 480 squared? Let's actually do that as a calculation. So calculations have to look like they are a number or they have to start with an at symbol for a, uh, for a function. And so here we're going to do uh, 480 squared. So I'm going to do plus to start this as a number and do 480 times 480. And that is uh, B, uh, that's equals B squared, B squared. And so that is the value for B squared. Let's, let's just highlight that so that way we don't lose track of it. And so I'm going to do slash to go into the menu. I'm going to do a range. I'm going to do color. You could just uh, hit the uh, letter here, but I'm just going to use the arrow keys to go down to it. And then what foreground do I want? Let's set this as a bright uh, white. And we'll do tab. We can do this on a regular uh, blue background. So let's hit return there. And what color range do I want? C2 to C2, hit return. And there it is, uh, bright white on blue. All right, so let's, uh, let's put in my, uh, my, my column labels. And so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to say uh, A, but I, I don't want my label to be on the left-hand side there. Uh, you can actually use uh, the, uh, the caret and that'll be, that'll center any text in there. So that's A centered. If you want to for some reason, uh, right justify that, you could do double quotes, A, and that'll put it on the right-hand side. But I want that to be centered, so we'll do A. And so I'm gonna enter in various uh, widths of that, uh, that triangle for uh, that side for A, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do A squared. So there's A squared, centered label, and then uh, we'll do C squared. So C squared, and of course that's gonna be A squared plus B squared. And we know what B squared is because it's right up here. And then I'm going to do the square root of that. I could do the square root of that right here in all in one column, but let's, let's just add another column, right? And that'll be uh, the value of C. And then I want to uh, see where, uh, how, how close I'm getting with 2A and C. So I basically want the, the difference between those two to be as close to zero as I can make it. And so for that, I'm going to say I've got 2a minus c. All right, so let's uh, let's put a, uh, a border under this so it's just so it looks nice. There's different ways you can do a border. One way you can do it is you can do a backslash and then, for example, the hyphen key, and that'll fill that cell with hyphens. Uh, or there's actually a nicer way to, to do it. Let's first erase what I just done. So just slash and do a range and erase that. And then that's the range right there, by v5 return. And so let's let's actually uh, take everything underneath these uh, cells and we're going to fill that with a box character. And then the spreadsheet will figure out what 
characters needs to use. And since it's just a line, it'll be a line. So we'll do slash, and we'll do a range, and then we'll do format, and we'll do a box. And then I'm going to use this right here. There we go. So I've got a border underneath my um, column headers. And so uh, different values for A. And so this is a 640 by 480 screen. The widest it can possibly be is half of 640, 320. So let's, let's actually fill some values going down here, uh, starting at 320 going down. So I'm going to do uh, slash, and I'm going to do data. I'm going to say fill. Let's do this much right here. We'll leave the last two rows. Uh, and then I'm going to just hit return there. And then I start at 320. I'm going to increment by minus 10. And then we'll, we'll see what that looks like. All right, so uh, here we've got uh, what's, what's A squared. If that's A is 320, I now need to do A squared. And so that calculation is going to be uh, A, the cell A6 times A6, right? There. And so let's do that. We'll do plus a6 times a6. That's a squared. And so what's c squared? Well, c squared is a squared plus b squared. I've got b squared up here in cell c2. And so that's going to be uh, the cell uh, b6 plus the cell uh, c2. And that will work until I copy these cells down. And I, I want to actually be able to lock <laughs> that reference C2 to always being row two. And so the way you do that is with a dollar sign before either the column, if you want to lock in the column, or the uh, row, if you want to, or both. If you want. I'm going to do F2 to edit this. And I'm going to put a dollar in front of the C, or the, the two. So it'll be C dollar two. And now uh, the two part of that C2 reference will never change when I go down. So it'll always be C2. And as I said, I could do the square root all in one step, but let's just do the square root separately. And so we'll do at square root and then open paren and then the value. I'll just use my cursor key to go over here to six and then hit the close paren. And that's the value of square root of uh, 332, 800. And now let's do the difference of 2a minus c. And so let's start the calculation with a plus 2 times. And what's the value of a? It's the cell right here minus uh, the value of c, which is this cell right here. That, and that's the difference, 63. Uh, so let's let's actually make this look a little bit better by, uh, by making this a fixed decimal place with two decimal places. So I'm going to do a slash. And we'll do a range, and we'll do a format, and we'll do a fixed, uh, and then we'll say two do two digits after the decimal, right there. And then the format range is going to be that. And we'll hit return, and now I've got two decimal places. All right, so let's go ahead and copy all of these cells down, and then it'll actually calculate everything based on these different values of A. So put my cursor right here and say slash, and then copy. Then select my range, hit enter, and then go down here. And now I want to copy the cells too. And now that my cursor is here in B7, I'll just hit the period. That starts the range. And then arrow key here, turn. And so now you can see that uh, somewhere between 280 and 270, uh, my 2a minus c is going from positives to negatives. So I know the value is somewhere between 280 and 270. And so let's do the range going up. Uh, so we'll do slash. We'll, so we'll change all of these. What we're going to do is we change these 320s down to 200s to start at uh, 270 going up by one. So we'll do slash, and we'll do data, and we'll do fill. And it'll be this range right here. And since I know the answer is somewhere between 270 and 280, I'm going to start at 270, and I'll go up by one. And so now you can see at 277, it's pretty close to zero. It's a lot closer at 277 than it is at 278. And so that would be the answer that I would probably use in the article because pixels are always going to be integers. So 277 is the width, of, half the width of a, uh, uh, so 320 minus 277 would give me a uh, one vertex and 320 plus 277 would give me the other vertex. There's actually an easier way to do this. 
Uh, and that is using a thing called goal seek. And so let's actually copy this last line here. And we're going to make another copy. So we'll do slash, we'll do copy, and then we'll take this range right here, and we're going to paste it down right here. All right, so I want to uh, be able to change this value, the 282, to get this over here, the difference, a 2a minus c, to be as close to zero as I can. And that's going to be using a feature called goal seek. And so just so we can kind of see what's what, let's let's actually uh, highlight this cell a specific color. So we're going to do slash, we'll do range, we'll do color. And uh, what color do I want? Let's do a uh, bright white on, uh, let's do a sort of a green that looks like color. And so it'll be green. The color range is that, E20, E20. So I return. And you can see that now I've got bright white on green. And then over here, let's, let's highlight this cell. And so we'll do a slash range color and we'll make this bright white on let's do cyan and so a20 a20 hit return and there it is so you can see that i, I want to be able to change the cyan cell uh, to make the uh, green cell as close to zero as i can make it and that feature is called goal seek and so let's do slash to go back into the menu do data and do goal seek and so what is the input cell? That's the cyan cell. So let's do a uh, hit return on that. We can go over and select that cell, A20. And then the output cell, uh, we'll just hit return on that and we'll highlight the green cell. And then I want it to be zero. So let's enter zero and actually say the desired goal should be zero and we'll make it as close to zero as we can get. And it says, what, how close do you want it to be? And that's, uh, one times 10 to the minus six. So that should be a decimal point and five zeros and then a one. That's pretty close to zero. And I'll hit return on that. And you can see that it's now calculated a value that's pretty close to zero at 277.1281. Uh, so if you actually want the exact value of uh, what that uh, dimension should be, uh, that is a way that you can do it. So what would you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. Thank you so much. You make this channel happen, and I really do mean that. Uh, special thanks to my gold supporters, my sponsors, my gold sponsors. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon. And consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.